Hi everyone, Sarah here. I'm here to share with you my project for this week for the Not Too Shabby Shop. The information here and of course everything will be listed down below for you. Don't forget to log in to collect your reward points. For every $1 you spend you get one point and every 100 points you get a $5 gift certificate. And then of course any US orders over $60 ship for free. There's all the information there. So for this week I was inspired by my friend Peggy from JP Peggy 2 here on YouTube. She made some super awesome, fast and easy um, three-dimensional cards. So I'll show you those in a minute. I'm going to link her video down below for you. I didn't do a tutorial for the card type. I did show you how I put mine together. But um, for a full tutorial, check out Peggy's video because she has the full tutorial on there. So um, the stamp sets that I used, I started out with the Elfie Selfie from Lawn Fawn. Super adorable. Um, I do have the coloring process for the little elephants to show you how I did them. And then I made a second card so that I could show you how I put together the actual card base and I decided um, I had stamped up a couple, you can see my little pile of stamped images over there. Stamped out a couple of these bears from the Friends Forever set from My Favorite Things. Um, but then to match the bear with the paper that I put on the card, I decided to also use this new stamp set from Lawn Fawn called Aloha. I haven't showed this yet. This is actually in my haul video for my Lawn Fawn stamps, but I pulled this one out so that I could use it. So I'll show you my first card that I made inspired from Peggy's video. So you can see it's, it's a kind of a standout box card. So it folds flat, it's four and a quarter by five and a half, so it fits, fits perfectly in an envelope. Um, you've got tons of space back here to write a little message, or you can even stamp more on it. Um, and then it's got this focal point, which is the circle. I've embossed the cheese from the stamp set down here. I did glue the mama elephant flat, and I popped the baby elephant on top with foam tape. And I attached a little camera with the little click and the um, lines from the stamp set. So super cute and basically the card just is kind of like a little square. You can see the back here that stands up to display like on someone's table or dresser or whichever. So super adorable. I just love how it turned out and it's just such a nice and easy pop-up card to make. So then while I was doing my process video for my second one, I'll show you the back first. I chose this yellow paper that I picked up a while ago um, from Tuesday morning and it has like a little Swiss dot on it. And then I picked out these papers with the pineapples on them. So that's where the pineapple came into play. And ta-da! I took my little bear and I actually cut him up. I cut his head off and attach it to the pineapple and I cut the top of the pineapple off so that I attach it to the back of the head and then I stuck his hands and feet behind it and then I did make this little tag with I pine for you and that is on the pop-up part of my card. I did use foam tape to attach him to the circle so turned out super super cute. I love how he looks like he's wearing a pineapple costume and he pines for you. <laughs> All right, so those are my two cards. Again, don't forget to check out um, Peggy and also don't forget to check out Jamie's shop, the Not Too Shabby Shop. Lots and lots of amazing stamp sets. Um, lots of the new Lawn Fawn release, MFT, all kinds of goodies. So check it out and stay tuned for the coloring process and actually the, how I put together my card base.
Okay, so I will have a link down below to Peggy's video, but I thought I would just show you guys quickly how I put my card together. This is one <laughs> that I had started in a one of my punches wasn't working, so it ate the piece of paper up. So I thought I would use this one to show you guys. Um, Peggy's video, she'll show you how to make two of these cards with one eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. She just cuts them five and a half by eight and a half and then uses a scrap piece of paper to um, attach them together. So I used a 12 by 12 piece of paper, so I cut mine at five and a half by nine. And then I did the same score lines that she did, two and one eighths, four and a quarter, six and three eighths, and then I did another one at eight and a half. Um, you wanna do your scoring and then put it through your punch. Um, and then after it's punched, then you wanna fold your lines so that you can um, get them nice and creased. And then you're just going to take and put some glue on your little tab and push it down. So that creates your little box, your little stand-up box that you have here. And then you're going to make your panels to put on your cards to decorate them. Um, this is my back side. That's the side that um, is attached together. So I do that as my back side and this is going to be my front side. So then these are my two panels for the front. And what I have is two one inch punch circle punches um, just folded in half. That's all I did and crease them with the bone folder. So what you want to do is attach those to your panels before you attach your panels to your card. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue, not a lot. <laughs> you can never get a little when you want it. Okay, so a little bit of glue and I'm just going to eyeball to the center. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to do it like that and then I'm going to do this one around the same spot. So that they line up together. So there they are just attached to my panels and then you just want to glue your panels in or onto the front of your card. So basically these little circles are here so that when the front um, embellishment is attached it will fold flat, but when you open your card, it's going to still say centered into your card. So it just helps them pop out. Super cool. I had never thought or seen this before until I saw it on Peggy's video. And I thought this was super awesome and inspired me to make my own. So um, please uh, take a look at Peggy's video. Send her some love. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.